You seem very different today. I am. I did something different. I told Liam the truth. I let him see that I am not perfect. And I am hearing you say that was not easy for you? <laughs> yeah, I, I think if there's something wrong with me, it's that I can't stand the thought of there being something wrong with me. Okay, and by wrong you mean? I feel like I'm someone who needs to be put together. You know, I, I, I have to be calm and collected and poised. And I'm not. I'm just pretending to be. Where did this expectation come from? Um... Growing up, my mom had her heart broken a lot. And I was the one who had to be strong for her. Because... I mean, who said so? I liked it that way. But I, when I was younger, people would always tell me, Oh, you're, you're such a big girl. You're such a good girl. And I think that... I'm, I'm now realizing how much of that is an act. I am not more capable or more mature than other people. And honestly, that feels great. <sighs> Liam forgave me for everything. For keeping everything from him, you know, seeing you, taking the pills. And you didn't think he would because... I lied. I mean, I didn't outright lie. I, I withheld the truth. And that's, that's the same thing as lying. So, what did this experience teach you? Not to do things that I'll have to lie about. Oh, God, have to lie. And, oh, you're going to be doing things every month of your life that you're going to wish that you hadn't. Trust me, believe me, I know, because I do. But lying is just going to compound this. I don't... I don't look at you coming to me to help you deal with your your sexual panic as, as something shameful. You know? That took guts. Can't you find this a source of pride? Not really. Especially since uh, last night and this morning I realized that there are still things that Liam doesn't know about me. Okay, last night, this morning, what happened? There was this online poll, you know, it's Hope Logan, a liar, a hypocrite, or just celebrity trash. Oh, God. People can be so brave and so very mean when they're behind their little anonymous keyboards. But I don't blame them. I would think exactly the same thing if all I knew about me was what they know. You think of yourself as trash? I don't think that what I'm doing is right. And you can't tell Liam about this because... Because he, he sacrificed so much for us to be together. And to him, you know, being, being married to someone else is just a technicality. But this means something to you. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I can't tell him that. You know, if, if I do, he hears it differently. He thinks that that means that I... I'm scared of sex or that I don't want him the way that he wants me and I I cannot let him think that we will never be happy. Those pills really really stop me from feeling like a hypocritical person. <laughs> Let's face it, I am. I mean, I'm I'm living with a technically married man. <laughs> uh, and I know that that is the way it has to be for a couple months and I don't understand why I just can't get past that but I, I know that I have to and I will I can and I don't think that I will be needing any more of those pills I, I thought those pills were all gone no I mean the new prescription I didn't write you a new prescription I gave you two pills, Hope, too. Yeah, the first time. 
No, it's the only time. And then you called me and you asked me for more, and what did I say? No, I, I, I know that. I, I remember that. But then you changed your mind. You, you sent me 12 more. No, I never changed my mind. Excuse me. Okay, okay, I know our time is up, but I, I will show you. Um, yes. where's my okay. purse? I will show you. Okay, I love, no, I left my purse down in the garage in my car, but I will show them oh, to you. This is very simple, all right? Whatever pills you have, I did not give them to you, so you need to throw them away, all right? Now, unfortunately, I have an emergency admission, and it can't wait, so I have to go.